P squad, y'all ready to get into the 2024 Oscar red carpet looks? I am. This red carpet actually was really good i want to say like the best of the red carpet season the ladies and gents showed up and showed out let's get into it let's kick things off with zen win honey zendaya wore custom giorgio armani armani Privé at that and of course she was styled by la roach baby when well, let me tell you something i gagged when miss mama hit that carpet in this look I was like, once again, she has done it. She didn't look like anybody else on the carpet. This color combination is so exquisite, okay? This gunmetal gray mixed with this pink, like mauve pink, oh my God. This material, the stonework, the hair. Oh, like this girl just never misses. She stays putting her foot on these heifers' necks. Baby, she did that. Fashion freaking killer. Florence Pugh stunned in Delcor Spring Summer 2024. This is a very interesting look. Her look actually mimics what Emily Blunt wore, who was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Um, they both did these dresses with this raised spaghetti strap. Like it's raised off of the shoulder. And for me, it works better on Florence Pugh in this look. I like this on her. I like the tousled hair. It's kind of giving it a rock and roll feel to it. I like the snake print. I think this is Bulgari necklace, if I'm not mistaken. I think she looks cute. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off is the top part of this dress with the way it curves at the hem. It's kind of giving me elf, <laughs> Keebler elf vibes. Um, but other than that, I think she looks really cool, young. I like it. Not really in love, but I like it. So I'm gonna give her a fashion killer. Now, y'all know pink is my favorite color. You all also know that Gian Battista Valley is one of my favorite designers and that is who ariana grande is wearing but for me this dress swallows her she looks like 30 packs of wadded up gum like i just am not feeling this for her um it's just too much it's too much it looked like she got a california king comforter <laughs> duvet set and wrapped it around her arms and then i don't even like the structure of the dress it's straight up and down she's straight up and down it's giving me tampon vibes for some reason i do not like this blonde era of ariana it washes her out she is a true brunette i'm just not feeling this at all I don't, it just looks like somebody's ovaries, roadkill. The Rock Dwayne Johnson is killing it right now in the WWE with his Hollywood Rock moniker, but he looks a hot, stanky mess in this Dolce and Gabbana suit. It is a wrinkly mess. I hate that it's satin. He's too big and buff for all of this. It's pulling and it's just all over the place it just i don't like this i don't like the color combination with this burgundy like shawl neck shirt underneath like on the carpet he looked a swishy swashy <laughs> mess it just reminded me of swish bash i've been taking a bath like i'm just not feeling this at all he needs to wear something structured i need for him to stop with this satin mess he too big for all of that you too big literally Roadkill. One of my favorite fashion girls, Charlize Theron, wore Dior. You know, she has a Dior contract. She's a Dior girl. I like this slip dress on her. I like it a lot. I just wish that it would have been brought in more in the waist to give her a silhouette, but I like this. I guess it's supposed to be going for that nightgown type vibe. She looks beautiful. I love 
all of the stacking that she did with the necklaces and the bracelets. She just looks cool. She just looks sexy. Like Charlize is just chef's kiss, bomb, gorgeous, beautiful. You better be happy she never decided to become a supermodel because she would help the girls, okay? Fashion killer. Winner for best actress in a film for Poor Things, Emma Stone wore Louis Vuitton. And, um, <laughs> she looked like a mushroom. She, this is giving me magically delicious. I like this iridescent green. It's really not showing up on the photograph, but that's how it showed up on the carpet on video. It's this really pretty iridescent green color, which is really pretty, especially with her red hair. But this dress, ma'am, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. she looked like cauliflower <laughs> i don't like the peplum i don't like this column skirt underneath that's dragging with the train it's way too long maybe if it would have been like right at the ankles it would have helped it more but this thick kind of brocade fabric it's just a mess like this is what you won your Oscar in, ma'am? Mm -mm. It looked like this dress smelled like mothballs. It looked like it's been stuffed in her grandmama closet since 1952. Rogue Hill. Best Supporting Actress nominee America Ferreira wore Versace. And this dress is, <laughs> I mean, it's everything and more. And then some. I mean, it fits her like a glove. It is giving her waist. The waist is snatched, the hips are hipping, the boobs are sitting. I love this dress, I am obsessed. I actually like the hair. I wish it would have been a little bit more fuller and not so flat, but the only other thing that's bothering me is the makeup. She's doing that barely there thing with the makeup, with the very pale nude lipstick that matches her lip color like I needed the makeup to be more pronounced more sexy this is a Versace dress you supposed to give sex okay you supposed to look like she's on a stick all right and she got the body for it I needed her to give off that glamour that Donatella Versace feel okay she looked pretty though she looked nice so I'm gonna give her a fashion killer, but she gotta get that hair and that makeup together. Ailey Seinfeld wore Ellie Saab's Spring Summer 2024 Couture. This is a really pretty dress. I really like this. It's elegant and it reminds me of that old Hollywood type feel. My only problem with this is that it's a little bit too mature for her because she is such a young starlet. I can see this on somebody a little bit more mature, like in their mid to late 30s, 40s or whatever. This is pretty though, don't get me wrong, it's pretty. The face is everything. The makeup, honey, looks fabulous. I'm loving these wispy lashes, the full lip, the earring. I like her hair with the little baby hair. The hair and makeup is exquisite, honey. The dress is pretty. This color though is kind of reminding me of like a hospital gown blue, but she looks pretty nonetheless. So I'm gonna give her a fashion killer, but I just think that it's a little bit too mature for her. Best Supporting Actress winner for The Holdovers, Davine Joy Randolph wore custom Louis Vuitton. And, um, hmm, yeah, hmm. Kind of looks like a rain cloud. <laughs> like a big ball of hell. Um, I love Davon. She's one of my favorite actresses, have been for the last like four, five years. I love her. She is going to be a force to be reckoned with. I hate that she wore this blonde wig. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. The makeup looks great. Um, this dress to me just isn't flattering for her body type. Um, with it being this halter neck dress, you know, the neck to shoulder ratio really isn't there because she's a big girl. She really doesn't have a neck. So I wish that they wouldn't have put something around her neck to emphasize that there's no neck there. <laughs> it's just chin and chest. 
Um, she needed something that was either strapless or a deep plunging V. Um, and then I liked her better when she did like a peplum style dress, you know, to kind of like camouflage the stomach area. Um, and I don't like the fact that the dress isn't lined because it being unlined makes the fabric look cheap, you know, and then you got these pom-pom sleeves going on. It's just, it's a lot to look at. It really honestly is. I wish that something else would have been chosen for her for such a momentous, momentous, <laughs> momentous occasion, but it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give her a road kill. I love you though, Davine. Star of the upcoming Wicked movie, Cynthia Erivo wore custom Louis Vuitton as well and was styled by St. Louis' own Jason Bolden. A lot of people did not like this. They were saying it gave dinosaur, tyrannosaurus, rex, rhinoceros vibes. I actually liked it. I did. This color green is not my favorite green. You know, it's this forest green color, but Cynthia pulls it off. She's an edgy girl. She does a lot of leather looks. I like this. I really do. I think it suits her. I don't think many other people could pull this off, but for Cynthia, it looks right for her. So I'm gonna give her a fashion killer. Gabrielle Union and hubby Dwayne Wade popped out and she is in Carolina Herrera. Um, and he is in Atelier Versace and they both were styled by Jason Bolden as well. And actually what Gabrielle did is this is two separate pieces. This is a top and this is a skirt. And she decided to put the two pieces together and make it one dress. I, per I, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I feel like it makes her torso look so long. It's like she's shaped like a bell. Um, I think it's the reason why the designer had it to be two separate pieces, but nonetheless, she looks pretty. I mean, it's hard to make Gabrielle look ugly, but I don't like the pieces together. It just makes her look like a tube of toothpaste. I'm just, I don't get it. Dwayne looks way better than she does. He looks so handsome and sexy in this uh, Versace tux. I love the black lapel, the pin. He looks great. It fits his body perfectly. He looks stunning. Fashion killer for him. Fashion fine for Gabby. I couldn't figure out what Coleman Domingo was wearing, but he was nominated for best actor in a drama and he looked nice. It's kind of giving me YMCA. It, it's also giving me like a navy uniform with the kind of like bell bottom pant. It's a little bit too many buttons for me. He looks nice, but this is not one of my favorite looks of his, but he does look tall and statuesque. I'm going to have to give Coleman a fashion fine, though. I'm not really in love with this. He looks like a pilot. That's what it is. He looks like a pilot. He looks like he is about to blow board um, a TWA flight <laughs> to Japan. Uh-uh. Now, this is how you wear a tuxedo to the Oscars. I love this. Sterling K. Brown looks handsome i love the detail with this lapel going down almost into like a sash on the inside of the jacket baby he looks great he looks great o m g this is fabulous honey i love this it is tailored to perfection. You can tell he feels good in it. This is this is chef's kiss, honey. Fashion killer. Child. <sighs> Issa, 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 Issa. No matter how much advice we give her, she never takes it. I don't know why Issa is just so dead set on dressing like she is 72 years old. Like, I just don't get it. But... Nonetheless, she is wearing a custom dress by Ami Paris and Gian Vito Rossi sandals. And they look like sandals, literally. They're so low to the ground. And y'all know I'm a kitten girl, but Jesus Christ, Issa. This dress is just boring AF. Like, 
I can't believe this is custom made. Like you had somebody custom make this mess. You could have got this same dress in the women's department at Macy's. There is nothing special about this. This literally looks like a bridesmaid's dress. No, Issa. Like this is so boring. Uh, her little top knot is cute. Makeup is cute. Body oiled up. But this dress is a no bueno, ma'am. Grow up, please. <laughs> <laughs> Roll kill. Laverne Cox wore vintage Mugler. You know, she is a huge Mugler fan. And um, she's curated a lot of their pieces for her own closet. This is cute. I like this a lot. You can tell that it's vintage with the way the top of the dress is made. It's giving that kind of late 70s, early 80s vibe. I like the scarf, the shawl, or whatever you want to call it going across her neck. Um, the hair is a little bit too throwback Fran Drescher, uh, <laughs> but other than that, I think she looks really beautiful. I like the way that the bottom of the dress tulips down to the floor. She looks stunning. The makeup is on point. It's just the hair is a little bit too quaffed for me, but other than that, fashion killer. After a year hiatus, Regina King is back on the carpet and she is in Versace. You know, her son passed away a little bit over a year ago. Um, he unalived himself, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just happy to see her back out and about. She has a movie where she's depicting um, activists Shirley Chisholm on Netflix coming on I believe next week if I'm not mistaken cannot wait to watch it she's an Oscar winner herself or best supporting actress um she looks she looks beautiful beautiful in this orange Versace I like the way it goes around her neck and everything it just fits her beautifully um I wish because she's wearing her natural hair and when you zoom in you can see some of the ringlet were pulled out i wish they would have did more of that to really frame her face but other than that she looks so nice and so pretty i'm just happy to see her back god bless her i love regina king fashion killer i don't know who sandra huller is but she is in scaparelli <laughs> which is my fave and this scaparelli dress is so simplistic but it's so fire this is how you wear scaparelli the shoulder work whatever you want to call this honey <sighs> exquisite like this is phenomenal if you're gonna do a black dress this is how you do a black dress it's not doing team too much but the exaggerated arms is what makes this dress so fabulous i like that she paired it just with a simple like um choker necklace the hair is slicked back. This is pretty. She doesn't have on any earrings. If they are, they're very tiny. Like you want the dress to speak for itself with this. This is beautiful. Fashion killer. One of my faves of the night. Another black dress favorite of mine was Eva Longoria wearing one of my other favorite designers, Tamara Roth. She was styled by one of my favorite stylists, Maeve Riley. And this is equally as fabulous as Sandra's dress. I love the exaggerated arms on this, the little train, the necklace, how her hair is pulled back. She just looks beautiful. This is so pretty. And a lot of people wore black on the carpet, but this is one of my favorite black looks of the night. Love it, fashion kill. Vanessa Hudgens debuted her baby bump at the Oscars red carpet. Y'all know she was one of my favorite red carpet girls of 2023. She was just slaying it left and right. She is in Vera Wang. Once again, you see another starlet in black. To me, this was a little bit too covered up. I feel like if you're gonna choose the Oscars to debut your baby bump, take it there, girl. Wear some color, show the bump. Like, cause when you see her walking, um, face forward you don't even you can't even really tell that she's pregnant she has to like turn to the side I just think that she didn't really use the opportunity at her best you know I wish they would have chose something else this is very simplistic you know what I'm saying she looks beautiful regardless she looks beautiful but it's a little bit too just eh, 
boring. It looks like this is a dress that the Gap made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she looks pretty. I'm gonna give her a fashion fine. Barbie star Margot Robbie wore Versace. This literally just came down the runway and she's wearing it in black. I believe it was shown in gold on the runway, but she decided to do a black version of this. I love the dress on the runway. I like the dress on her. Um, I wish that she would have continued with the whole Barbie core of it all. This is the last award show. I wish she would have went out with a bang and wore something that was pink and extravagant, but she didn't. A lot of people said that she wore black instead because she was snubbed and not nominated. But this is, you know, it's nice. You know, she didn't do anything really with it except for pair it with this bracelet. The hair is tousled like she did it herself. The glam is boring. Like there's no effort put into this. Like comb your hair, ma'am. Because I know you paid somebody to do this mess to your head, but you literally could have done this yourself. Like Margot Robbie is a beautiful woman, but this whole effortlessly really no makeup not really having my hair done mess is like oh to me now like girl put forth some effort i'm gonna have to give her a fashion fine remember how i told you that florence Pugh and emily blunt wore similar dresses where the shoulder straps were raised this is emily blunt and scaparelli this literally just went down the runway during um fashion week and I knew that somebody was going to end up wearing it. I didn't think that it would be her. To me, I think a more taller statuesque woman could really rock this. This is a very interesting look. Um, I think it's a beautiful dress, but I think that the dress is wearing her versus her wearing the dress. And I don't know what's going on here lately with designers doing this little thing where it looked like a bodysuit un, un, <laughs> unsnapped. <laughs> It, at the crotch part of a dress i'm really not understanding that design work but um i like the way she layered the necklaces i like her updo she looks pretty so i'm gonna give her a fashion fine but i just feel like the dress doesn't go well with her best supporting actress nominee danielle brooks wore custom dolce and gabbana this is really nice this is pretty it fits her well um I like the split. I like the train. It looks like it might be like a bow detail in the back. I like her hair, this bob and everything. She looks pretty. Have we seen this style dress before? Yes, we have. This is very old school. There's nothing really new about this, but she looks nice. She looks beautiful and she looks glamorous, okay? I love this for her fashion killer. One of my favorite looks of the night came from Carrie Mulligan in this custom Balenciaga couture dress. This is actually a remake of a dress that Balenciaga did back in 1949. Here is the original design, which was fabulous back then. I'm really loving that a lot of these Hollywood actresses are turning back and asking designers to recreate some of the fabulous dresses from these houses from back in the day and this dress was a fabulous dress to choose to do a remake i actually like the remake better than the original balenciaga dress carrie mulligan looks so tall and sleek and statuesque i love the opera gloves i love that it's a trumpet style dress i like her bob Everything about this is just beautiful. It's timeless. It will never go out of style. And she looks like an award winner, even though she did not win, but she was nominated. She looked great. She slayed, okay? Slayed. Fashion killer. Another actress to turn back the hands of time was Anna Taylor Joy. She actually had Dior to recreate their famous Venus dress, honey. Yes, it's one of the house's most famous designs, which was created for the autumn winter collection for 1949 1950 season. Now, this is how the original dress looked. This is how the dress looks in color. It is at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts on display. The dress is absolutely exquisite, honey. It is beautiful. Okay, they did the doggone thing with that, but I'm gonna need for them to put it back 
back in the vault because they have been recreating this dress for too many people. Natalie Portman recently was in a remake version of the Venus dress not too long ago. It's like, okay, girl, we get it. Y'all love this design, this petal look. We get it. It looked nice when you did it for Natalie Portman when y'all did a special version for her. But this one for Anna, for some reason, it's freaking me out. It's reminding me of fish scales. I think because the petals or whatever this is are too close together. I don't like this like off gray, sickly gray color. I don't know. It just, it's giving, it's, it's reminding me of arachnophobia for some reason. Like it's making me itch and it's really making me uncomfortable. And I just don't like it. It's like a whole bunch of seashells and clams put together. She's beautiful. It looked really great walking down the carpet. But for me, it just is making me itch and weird me out. So for that, I'm going to have to give this uh, a fashion find. Camila Alves wore Versace. She is the wife of Matthew McConaughey, hostess, model, all of those things. And one of my other favorite black dresses of the night, these latex gloves, honey. Took this up a notch. The split, I like the studded bralette underneath the serpent necklace. She looks great, great. She looks like a temptress, honey, a seductress. Yes, come on, Camilla, fashion killer. To commemorate it being 10 years since she won her Best Supporting Actress, um, Oscar Lapita Nyong'o wore this really beautiful powder blue Giorgio Armani gown. Now, when she wore her Oscar 10 years ago, she wore a powder blue Prada dress, both beautiful. She looked stunning in both of them. I really like this dress on her. I like the ostrich feathers. I like the placement of the stonework and everything. She looks beautiful she seems very happy and everything i'm living i'm living lupita is just absolutely gorgeous she is breathtakingly beautiful okay and she can literally do no wrong fashion killer lord knows i love me some erica alexander i have loved her since she played on the cosby show Loved her even more on Living Single. Loved her even more here recently when she just starred in the Oscar-nominated film American Fiction. But I do not, and I repeat, I do not love this Christian Siriano gown. Oh, Jesus. She is too beautiful of a woman for this mess. This is a hodgepodge of foolishness. Why does she have this hula hoop <laughs> skirt over this white gown that is ill-fitting. It doesn't fit her. It looks like it's falling off of her. It's baggy. Then you got this tulip skirt oh, with the ruffles and all of these colors and then the big hair and then this Hobby Lobby necklace and then you got the gloves and the ring. Mm-mm. <sighs> Mm -mm. This 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 is one of the worst things I've ever seen Christian Siriano make for somebody. Now I don't know how they collaborated on this, came up with this, but this is atrocious. This is atrocious. Okay, like this is unforgivable <laughs> on so many different levels. Okay, this is a reading rainbow mess. Roadkill director extraordinaire Ava DuVernay wore custom Louis Vuitton. I don't know if she about to go build houses <laughs> or attend a red carpet event. I don't understand what's going on with the belt buckles on the shoulders. Uh, I'm really not understanding. You about to go bungee jumping. Like, why are they there? Like, are you wearing Oshkosh Bigosh? Because that's what it's giving. What is this little red pendant on it? Is it a part of the dress or is this a pin? I'm really not understanding this dress, nor the color. It's so pale of a blue. It's sickly looking. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I don't like it, Bernie. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Her hair and makeup gorgeous beautiful face card never declines but this dress honey huh the bank account 
is overdrawn, insufficient funds, okay? Roadkill. And lastly, we have someone that I don't even know who she is, but y'all know I had to show you this dress because it is a hot pink wonderland of fun. Her name is Kelty Knight, and she is in Celia Kurt Hardy, Hariety, girl, whatever. This dress is amazing. I love it. It is a confusion perfection of wonderment oh my god this is so beautiful this is barbie core okay love this this is what margot robbie should have been in okay as a swan song to the barbie season this is everything her hair her makeup everything is on point she looked great okay fashion killer all right, you guys, it's that time. It's that time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now it is time for my Fashion Killer Award for the 2024 Oscars Red Carpet. And the award goes to Zendaya. I mean, there's really nothing else to say. She came, she saw, and she conquered. And she will be winning an Oscar in her future. Everything about this girl is just tens across the board. And she never misses. Never. Fashion killer. I also had to give it to Carrie Mulligan. This Balenciaga dress is just mind-blowing to me. I need this in my closet. This is just classic okay classically beautiful anybody can wear this dress that's how good of a dress it is they are both tied for my best dress from the 2024 oscars the best dress male award goes to sterling k brown he just looks so handsome and dapper i love it. and my roll kill award for the worst dress male at the 2024 oscars goes to the rock he looked like some satin sheets as, <laughs> as you just woke up from a nightmare. Like, absolutely not. Roadkill. And the worst dressed woman at the Oscars goes to our girl, Erica Alexander. Like, I'm so sad to do this. But she looks like one of those crazy homeless women on the corner pushing a cart. <laughs> they be having all of that junk piled in it. This, this is just a big no, a big N-O. I'm so sad for her and disappointed, but she just looked a mess, child. I just cannot. That is the end of this video, you guys. If you are a High Tea Squad member, then you are watching this before the rest of the Tea Squad. Actually, you're getting to view this days before the Tea Squad, okay? So it's even more incentive for you to join the High Tea Squad and get early access to content, okay? You guys, make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. And let me know down below in the comment section where were your favorite and least favorite looks. Let's talk about it. Bye.